Hi everyone. Um, am I too loud? Let me know how my volume is on stuff, okay? Anayashimasu. Oh my god, what is falling out of my cup? Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, so from now on I'll be starting my art streams on 8 today. Uh, I'm a little late today just because of weird stuff. Uh, it's, obviously we're getting used to the new time and stuff too. Also, we spent too much time eating dinner and watching anime. I've been watching uh, the series 86 right now, and oh my god, it's so good! I know it's gonna end badly, but my prediction is my favorite character will survive. I don't know why, but I feel like he will. I also feel like he will lose his hand at some point. A very strong prediction and very random, but that is my prediction. In case it isn't obvious what I'm working on, I am working on my holiday card this year. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's what this is, obviously. It's also in the description. Oh. I'm looking forward to this weekend, though. I'm going to have lots of fun. And do my best not to overdo it. Physical therapy really took it out of me. But that wasn't the only thing, either. Because uh, we, we went to... Uh, Wong and I went to my parents' house. And um, we got all of my stuff that was still over there, basically, out. The, at least the stuff that I, like, cared about. And, oh, my God. So much. I still have to go through a bunch of it and figure out what I'm selling, what I'm keeping, what I'm dumping. I might actually start donating stuff instead of trashing it. Oh, hello! Thanks for stopping by! Mm, let's see. Put the button. I should probably put this up a little. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys my setup for when I stream, but like my mic is right in front of my tablet. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not very good at this. It was definitely easier when I was using the headset mic, but this sounds so much better. So when I'm drawing, I leave my, um, 
uh, my my uh, art Photoshop or whatever my my art programs. I, I am using Photoshop, but I leave that on uh, the tablet screen, and then I have the chat and everything pulled up on my main monitor. But when I'm like playing games and stuff, uh, it's the other way around. Let's see. Me, nobody's gonna look this closely at my shorts. Also me, must detail it extremely. I had a bit of a headache today. I'm doing better now, but I don't know. I just, I'm not getting enough sleep again. I know that. I'm not not trying, I just not. But at least work was good today. Uh, so, uh, the owner of the comic shop, he had given me a hi kitten. I can't wait to see you this weekend. But so he had given me some work to do. I was supposed to like, uh, alphabetize. And then, um, after he priced, uh, alphabetize, give him back to him for pricing. And then, uh, 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 put the uh, issues of comics into back issues. So um, I got them all alphabetized really fast. And then I just had to kind of sit there for a while because there was nothing. Uh, so for those of you guys who uh, have me on social media or anything, you might have noticed I was like a little chatty. That was because I had nothing to do. I uh, took care of customers when they came in. Otherwise, I was just kind of, yeah. So I was playing on Discord and uh, Line and uh, even Facebook and stuff like that. So whatever. I also there's some polka stops in your work, so I, I I checked in on them. I mean, I do have a charger with me, so I could have probably done more. But I'm like, I just wanna. I don't want to be sitting there playing games on my phone. I usually write, but I was just with my headache. I didn't really want to write today. Although I told myself I was gonna write more if it has written. That did happen. But yeah, so anyways, uh, uh, after he, he found, it took him forever to get them priced because it, pricing them is really hard. I mean, I know from pricing, uh, you know, anime figures how hard it can be. So I, yeah, I'm like, that's this isn't anything I'm like shocked by, but yeah, so it takes him a while and that's fine. But so he was joking right near the end because uh, I, I only work 12 to five. Uh, he only needs uh, part-time help, which is why I like, so far this is the only thing I was able to find, but I like it. And he's also willing to work around my health issues. So it makes it a lot nicer. Cause a lot of people are like, oh, you have fibro, oh, you can't stand. Oh, you might fall apart sometimes. Like, yeah, they, they don't want to work around. And I mean, I can stand a bit. So it's not like I'm totally useless and I'm doing better. I haven't been on my crutches in two weeks, guys. Two weeks crutch free, woo. Physical therapy did definitely wipe me out yesterday, but I go in for my evaluation uh, next week and probably won't be having any more for now. So that that's basically how far I've come on that. But anyways, so yeah, he was joking about how he's like, I gave you so much to put away. I know I gave you an impossible workload to put away and stuff. And then he like looks and sees I have three comics left and he's like, never mind. I was like, yeah, I've only got Teen Titans to put away. Actually, it wasn't Teen Titans. Never mind. I put those away earlier. It was uh, X-23. I, I saved Marvel for last because, oh my god, Captain America, man. He is the worst to put away. Don't get me wrong, I am a Marvel fangirl. But yeah, ow, that was painful. There's always so many different, like, re and oh my god, the naming sequences. The numbering sequences are crazy! Batman's also really hard for me because some of them are under detective and some of them are under other things. And then you've got the Batman Superman crossovers, but then you also have Superman Batman crossovers, which are totally different. So, ah, uh, you know, fun times, right? Anyways, I'm learning a lot about comics, obviously, working there. It was nice. We had, um, oops, we had people from a bigger shop stop by today like I guess they do work like uh so they're all the way from out in New York and I guess they were at C2E2 uh in Chicago this weekend so they stopped by on their way their drive back I was like ouch that's gotta be painful 
But yeah, they stopped by and we're looking to buy some stuff. So they bought some of our like uh, rare comics and stuff too. And it was just cool. And they were like talking to us and stuff. And yeah, it was it was kind of fun. And I know um, the owner was really happy though. He's like, oh my God, like a, like basically not quite a like somebody noticed me thing, but he was just like really happy that like, you know, they thought to come to like smaller shops and then they ended up buying a bunch from us too. Cause I guess we had a lot of issues they wanted. So it was fun. It was nice. I think the best thing about working at a comic shop is that my dress code is nerd stuff. But it was, it was fun. Yeah. So it worked wasn't too bad. I'm just tired from everything. I just, as per usual, I'm an insomniac, so I don't sleep well. I don't know if I like how that. Mm, maybe it should go more like that. Uh, I guess I did have it going like that. I don't know if I had it quite that big though. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I got lazy and didn't even bother to ink this. I just went straight to uh, digitally inking it. I was like, eh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Okay, good, I got the short stun. Oh look guys, it's a rubber chicken! Anyways. <laughs> what, you didn't think a rubber chicken would be in an art of, of Wong and I? What kind of a, what kind of thing is that? Of course there's gonna be a rubber chicken. Look, look, as a rubber chicken. <laughs> I thought that was very important. looking like a rubber chicken. Yes, I thought it was perfect addition. When I showed the initial sketch to Wong, he laughed so hard. He's like, yes, this is perfect. And I always tend to do like something OC. Ah, oh, I'm guessing you mean like the toy carrot, unless you mean you actually threw a carrot. Does Yumiko eat carrots? Rada likes bananas, not the actual fruit though, his toy. Ironically, we tried to feed him a shrimp once and he was like, uh, no thank you. And then he went to his toy shrimp. Oh, okay, you were actually throwing a real shrimp at Yumiko. I hope she just gave you that look like, really mom, really? <laughs> Poor Yumiko. Speaking of carrots, I have a very strange story that that was about carrots. Yes, it's about carrots. I actually have two really strange, funny stories about carrots. I'll go with the first one I thought of first and then we'll go with the second one. Anyways, so when I was in Japan uh, during uh, college uh, as an exchange student, kind of uh, studying Japanese, 
Uh, my host mother actually was teaching English classes, so I went, or ja yeah, so I went with her uh, to, to see the people there. And like one of them was actually uh, a, uh, from Mongolia, which is pretty cool, I thought, because I never met anyone from Mongolia. And in fact, the only time I have to this day is I met two different Mongolians in Japan. But anyways, so uh, I can't think of what her actual, what she told me, what she introduced herself as, but her real name was Ninjin, which in Mongolian apparently means beautiful. But in Japanese, it means carrot. So uh, yeah, she she changed her name in Japan so nobody would call her carrot. I thought that was pretty funny though. And now my other funny carrot story is, uh, so I used to do a lot of forum role playing, like RPing back in the day. I love them. I still would if it was actually a thing that existed, but it doesn't, so I do tabletop. But um, yeah, so uh, in one of the role plays we had, it's actually the one as written is loosely based off of, which if you're on my Patreon, you've been uh, getting access to that. But anyways, anyways, uh, so we were talking in like this this uh, random chat because we had a bunch of like out of character chats and stuff. And we were just talking about like what would happen if the if like uh, a bunch of the different characters got together and had like a meal together. So uh, we did that. And we're doing, uh, we're playing it in that little random chat. And like one of the characters, his name was Blaze, and he liked to light things on fire. And they were making stew, and somebody was like, I'm putting carrots in the stew. And so he's like, I want to light the carrots on fire. So then it turned into a big discussion on whether or not carrots were flammable or not. And so I jokingly brought this up to my mother. And mind you, I was in possibly in high school at the time, maybe early college, but I was still living at home and stuff. Um, so, but yeah, I was still, uh, I was an adult-ish, but I mean, I definitely wasn't like, you know, a young whippersnapper. And so my mother was also older as well. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I brought it up to her and she thought I was hilarious. And then uh, a couple hours later when she's making dinner, she suddenly calls me out and she's like, come out here, Kojika, come out, come out. And I was like, what? She's literally trying to like can like carrots on fire out of the stove. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> So guys, by the way, no, you cannot, uh, carrots are not flammable if they are fresh and wet. If you waited for them to dry, perhaps they would be uh, flammable, but otherwise, no. And this has been my carrot talk. I'm sorry, I'm out of carrot related stories. If anybody else has a carrot related story they would love to share, I would, uh, I'll share it with everyone too. Where's my reference? I know, I've got like the weirdest things. Don't worry, just like Wong, I have really weird stories. I think his are a little more exciting, which is why I don't normally tell mine. I'm sorry, guys. I'll try harder to get weirder stories. Oh, how dare you, RTD. Your homework assignment for next week is to get a carrot-related story. Kitten, do you have a carrot-related story? Besides flinging a carrot onto Yumiko's head. I thought to be fair, that is still a pretty good one. I mean, I guess maybe uh, food related stories in general, but I don't know. Now I'm thinking about carrots and that's all I'm thinking about. Thanks guys. It was my fault. I started it. Actually, I didn't. I can blame Kitten for this one. She's the one flinging carrots at her cat.
In case you guys did not know, it is not proper etiquette to fling carrots at your cats. But speaking of flinging food at people, um, I I know um, what is it? Texas Roadhouse, I think, was the place uh, I went there like once with my mom when I was younger, and uh, they had all these peanuts like you can just eat and you just throw the shells on the floor. It's actually kind of disgusting, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so, uh. She threw a peanut shell at me, and so I threw one back at her. And so we were having a peanut fight, and then she's like, why are you throwing shells at me? And I was like, you started it, and our waitress laughed. That, that's all I can think of with flinging food. Although there was a time um, she, she threw a bowl of mashed potatoes at the wall. And that's a much more complicated story. Uh, we'll just stick with the punchline, because it's not actually that funny when you hear it all. Kent might actually remember that one. We were we were pretty young, but So um, I am also working on throwing together a Christmas-ish stream uh, for Christmas Eve. Talking to some people about it first and seeing, uh, I, I have like a list of people that I want to go through and ask, but like I'm trying to get some people that I haven't like done, uh, well I don't say not necessarily that I haven't done stuff with, but I haven't done stuff with a while, at least for an announced collab. We'll see how that turns out. I, I want to do like a graphic on it. And once I know, uh, you know, who's in it, I'll worry about the time. But Wong and I are both off work that day. Yeah. So RTD, uh, you, you may, you, you're actually the next group. If, uh, if uh, the person, the people I've talked to first don't get back or aren't able to, uh, you're, you're in the next group of people I'll be asking. So heads up. I got Wong to agree to do it with me though, so that's why I was like, man, now I gotta get a full party. That's right, guys. I got Wong to do something. Yeah, that's right. Okay, oh my gosh. I like playing games with friends in case you guys hadn't noticed. I, I really love co-op games. It's my favorite thing is co-op game. 
I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm always going to be a sucker for, like, JRPGs and stuff. But, like, as far as, like, games when I can play with somebody, even if it's just, like, a dumb, silly game, it's just fun playing with other people. Alright, wait, let me make sure I change this right. Did I? <gasps> Guys, look, my face didn't change and I typed a number. I am magical. Or it's called Guess Who Finally Changed the uh, uh, the the Stuff on Her. Uh, that's not even a series. I am the magic. Actually, it's called I Stop Being Lazy. That's that's really what it was. I was just like, I kept making excuses and I'm like, uh, or I could just go do this and get it over with. Which, as you can tell, is exactly what I ended up doing. It wasn't that hard. So did anybody do anything exciting today? I got stabbed four times, that's it. And then went to work. <gasps> Actually, there's something did exciting happen at work. Besides what I already told you. My boss brought me some fries. He knows me. He knows the way to my heart already. Get Christmassy, so he gets a, a, a Christmas hat. Don't worry, that's the only way this is Christmassy. Oh my god did she like kill it or did she just bring you back another living mouse that you can free into the uh, outside world i can like picture lily doing that in my head so uh like scaling the cabinets she's pretty much a little stinker nope you got it in a cup what are you naming this one Didn't we have like oopsie poopsie and uh, stuff like that before? Stinker? That's a nice easy name. I mean, I know you live out by a field, but my gosh, you get so many mice.
That reminds me, I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but I finally finished that one uh, comic commission I've been working on where the client has kept continually making changes and pushing it. So uh, yeah, we're very tight against the deadline since you know uh, it's an o going overseas and uh, it's a Christmas gift. I now have to wait for her to actually um, okay it so I can send it off to print though. Like, oh my gosh, just okay the last page. Everything else is okay for now is what she said. So it's just the last page. So nerve wracking. And I haven't shared it yet, but the uh, the canvas, um, I had somebody commission me for a canvas print. Like they got it printed on a canvas and that canvas came in today uh, and I'm sending it off tomorrow and it doesn't have to go very far but that one will definitely be in there in time for the holidays yeah i keep telling her like i need the information like i told her we need to have this printed by like i told her i'm like i need to you to get the okay i'll send you it um you know i'll send it to you monday at the latest which obviously guys it's not monday anymore and i did send it to her um like early monday for the last page that she kept changing. And I was like, yeah, you you need to let me know like ASAP. Yeah. If there's any changes or anything, cause yeah, we're running out of like time to get this printed. And yeah, we're going like express shipping now and stuff because she was willing to pay for the extra, but it's still kind of like, uh, yeah, we, we still have a time limit. And no, I haven't drawn his face yet. The faces are hard. I love doing them, but I don't at the same time. Firearm! I just thought we were screaming names. Yeah, I know I haven't drawn his face yet, so it looks pretty funny right now. Kitten, can I get your Christmas card early so I can put it on my door? I don't have any Christmas cards on there this year. It's sad. Part of it is because I haven't actually finished my card. Yay, I get it. Wait, why are you bringing it Saturday when I'm gonna stop at your house? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? I'm coming to your house, man. We're driving together. I'm lazy. No, it just makes more sense too. Maybe I'll have my cards done by them too. Yeah, that's understandable. It's It's been crazy. What are days of the week? Uh-oh, what's the one problem with it? Is it like somewhere overseas or is it just... Oh, ouch. Yeah, I, I know, like, uh, when uh, we're finally ready to set our date, that is one thing we're going to look into is going to be like, what is everyone doing this weekend already? Is there any big event that we should be aware of? And I know it's impossible to get, like, for everything, but it's it's still pretty easy. I remember the, the year uh, I had a... Like, it's one thing if it's not, like, something you know a lot of friends go to or something. 
Yeah, I remember the, the one year I had friends who got married during Ramen Con, and I was like, well, that's all good and all, but by that point, I had already been doing the murder mystery, and we already had the Saturday panel for it, and all this other stuff, and I'm like, I, I just can't be there. Like, I don't want to not be at your wedding, but guys, that was uh, bad planning. And part of it was initially they were supposed to have it like the Thursday of the con, but they had issues getting the venue they wanted and um, the wife in that situation did not want to get any other vendor or like a uh, venue. She wasn't really work to work around it, which I mean, I guess I understand in some regard. You're talking to the people who want to save money and uh, are just having it at their own house though. So I also don't. <laughs> what which one did she send you oh snoopy dress label yep she was the first card on my fridge Not my fridge. I'm not putting them on my fridge. I could, but that's not where I'm putting them. So like what I do with Christmas cards is I, uh, I have, uh, I just tape them to the pantry door. But it looks nice. Actually, uh, Wong was uh, giving his uh, mother a house of the tour via phone and showing her like what we had set up. And she actually said my Christmas decorations were nice. So I appreciated it. She did say it was a very American thing to do. But then she also said they were nice. I'm like, good. Some very bad memories at Christmas because I uh, grew up in a family that like pretty much well you kitten also understands because you know she grew up in the same family uh, there's a lot of fighting and stuff that goes on around the holidays and it just makes it hard to enjoy it which is why my big goal has been to make it something I can enjoy again. And so I want to make like new traditions and I want to have lots of fun and I want to decorate and go overboard and just be happy. That's why Friday I'm going to go to the Chris Kring Walmart. I've never been there before. It's going to be fun. Saturday I'm going to go see Zoolites. That'll be fun. And then Sunday is still up in the air, but I'll probably do some baking. I bought some uh, some reindeer for outside my house. Some deer, whatever. I think they're very pretty. If you're on the Discord, I shared a picture with them in nature because I didn't know where to put it. It's like it's outside, close enough, right? Did you guys know, though, there's a big fallacy with uh, the whole concept of reindeer and stuff for Santa Claus? I'm going to educate you with some random knowledge you guys don't need to know as per usual, because that is my favorite thing, random knowledge. So during that time of the year, um, reindeer actually, the male reindeers do not have antlers. It's female reindeer who do. So, which would mean all of uh, Santa's reindeer would have to be females. Which, if you think, makes perfect sense. Because, obviously, how else would they be able to get everywhere in one night and not get lost? <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> I did that one on a log yesterday. The, the thing about the female reindeer is true, but I just like randomly slapping that on. I know guys who can navigate. I also know girls who can't navigate. It's just, uh, that's always the joke, isn't it? Did you guys notice that Wong's glasses are not made out of hair anymore? Anyways, I know that was totally random again. Hello, I am Kojika and I am very random. Say glasses are the bane of my existence, but we know that's wrong. It's hands. Wrong one. Is this the weekend that Spider-Man comes out? Nobody tell me what it's about. I won't see it until um, it's been out for a while. So don't spoil it for me, please. I will watch it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it until um, it's, I guess, what, three months or whatever is what it takes to get it to uh, Disney Plus? Is that what it is? Something like that? I did watch, finally watch Shang-Chi and uh, Black Widow. They were both good. I liked them. I actually liked Black Widow a lot. It was very fun. Do it.
I just imagine uh, my uh, my boss is gonna be like biting his tongue the whole time until I see it because he's like, oh my gosh, please. But are you gonna sing Paroru? That's a really important question. I, I think last time, yeah, Paroru, Paroru, good. I remember the last time, uh, we got you requested jingle bells from us and like we couldn't do very well at all and then i just started singing pararu because i know that better don't worry guys i don't know even american christmas song i mean i have eternal snow from full moon of scotch day in my christmas uh playlist on my ipod close enough it's winter. I think a lot of the songs in there are more like winter than Christmas, but I'm like, yeah, close enough. My favorite one is apparently one of my Kuraki Mai songs got put in there, and it's not even about winter, it's about spring. And I'm like, what are you doing in here? Leaves it in, anyways. I, that one I know, obviously. But you know what, if Santa can see, if Santa is omniscient and he knows what everyone, he knows when you're sleeping and you're awake and who's been bad or good, why didn't he ever punish anybody for being, bullying Rudolph, you know? What an asshole. He could you would make a good uh, reindeer, right? He's nice and bright. I mean, literally, Pikachu is like, you know, Pika Pika, like sparking, uh, like chew as in like the noise a mouse makes. So, yeah. I used to see it translated as shiny mouse a lot. I mean, that's that's not a far off. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, that, that's pretty much. If something's Pika Pika, it's sparkling. Shiny. Hey, gotcha. I'm not very good at Pikachu impressions. Sorry, guys. It's not my forte. I used to be really good at Togepi. Let's see if I can do it. <clears throat> toki, toki. Boop. Nope. Uh -huh. There we go. I rolled the R a bit. That was pretty bad too. I used to be better. I'm sorry guys. I got old. I'm so glad that Evie now has a legit voice, even though it's froppy from uh Boku no Hero Academia, so like sometimes I just I hear froppy instead. One of the attacks in uh, Let's Go Eevee sounds like uh, she's going, Eve up! So that's always what I say it is. That's not what it is, but that's what it sounds like. Clever, clever. I mean, I go technically all Pokemon sound differently. And yet they all have one voice actor. No. <laughs>
Hi, I'm back to this now. Okay. Continue downward. Now he has a face. His face has been returned to him. That's easy enough to fix though, luckily. Voila, all fixed. <laughs> Oops, not bad. Eh. You can go with that though. I'm trying to match all the details again because I have this problem. familiar with Wong's outfit for the obvious reason. Namely one while I assisted with some of the points on it, I did not actually design it.
Guys, I have a very important question for you. Does anybody know uh, about the uh, uh, McDonald's points and the app expiring? Because I hope mine don't. I'm collecting them. I don't know for what yet, but I have a lot. Maybe to get the largest fry they've ever made. Weird noise time. Okay. After all that, you don't even aren't even gonna see that. I like making weird noises. That's fun. Speaking of weird noises, um, so I kept hearing that like Discord's noise suddenly changed. I was really confused. Well, it turned out that it has a thing for like holiday noises or holiday themes or something and I did not know this so I was saved and now I uh, don't have to listen to the weird discord noise that scared me because I was like what is this I don't like I don't like do not want hi guys I'm not tech savvy at all My secret is, I don't have any idea what I'm doing. the chicken by the way just because I make no sense did I make those about not at all <laughs> did I make those about the same width no Let's shrink this one a bit. I know uh, Wong tweaked his outfit a bit, so it's not as poofy now. I don't probably need that. It's just... but I still want it somewhat poofy. You gotta have that poof.
Does anybody know what the Chinese Zodiac is for next year? Tiger, what is this year? Was this year? The ox, I don't know anything about uh, this. I'm a rabbit. Yeah, it's tiger, it's tiger. Tornia! Tornia! Hi, we have a stuffed tiger that I named Tornia because I like to throw him at people and shout that. <laughs> It's okay, Wong and I do it to each other. He used to live on our couch, but when we moved, he's now in our closet. Uh, but we have a we have a peeper on our couch. You know, like from uh, Subnautica. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? From Occupus Sola, as it would have it. Hey, um, let's see if I can uh, find my reference. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Ba -da, ba -da. That's way too big. Yeah, I hit some stuff. Uh, let's see. There you go! It almost looks like I got an earring on in there. Okay, let me, uh, let me, uh, where's my music? Let me pause it. Okay, okay. Did you hear that all right? The fried gem. What's the fried gem loud enough? Cat jam. What's that? Are the cats jamming? Jam project? 
Oh, it just says cat jam on my chat. That's all I see. <laughs> this isn't even the one I'm using anymore, but I'm stealing colors off of it because I'm lazy. Obviously, I've changed my hair and stuff now, too. Oh, wait. Oh, that's sad. I want to see cats. No, but sometimes they do show up because last time I saw um, all of uh, uh, Piplup's animated ones. Cat pick? We getting cat pictures? RTD, did you break it? Yeah, I mean, I've seen it do that too, but yeah, it's weird because uh, the other day when I, uh, during karaoke, when people were on, I saw some, I'd like, it's always like RTDs I don't see. I'm pretty sure he did something to make uh, the thing. Maybe it's something I have in my settings though, I don't know. I mean, RTD is a mod on my channel, so there should be nothing that would be stopping him from doing stuff, but. I feel like this is not quite all right here. Um, that should work better. Okay. Ah, okay. A BT TV emote. Okay. See, I don't know things. I'm just here it's here to, to, to do things and look cute. Now I'm always learning stuff. Okay, if I have questions, I will ask you. Because I have no problem sending you uh, messages and dumb memes. Uh, my friend Kirito uh, likes to uh, send me uh, raccoon and possum memes, but mostly raccoon memes. And so like a lot of them, I'm like, it's RTD again. It is. You're the only raccoon I know. I know, right? It's hard. And then there's that raccoon that died uh, on the side of the road not too far from where I live. And uh, like for some reason they never like came and cleaned him up and so I just watched him slowly deteriorating until he was nothing but bones. That also made me think of you, but it was a little more morbid. <laughs> Oh, 
Why? You could be fun, right? You could be a skeleton. And you never have to worry about losing weight again. What do skeletons eat? I know if we're going the giant skeletons from uh, uh, Japanese yokai, uh, they eat people and drink their blood. Yeah. Mm, they like to bite their heads off. Yeah, fun times. That's good. Yeah, I saw a couple of people uh, in, on my friends list that were doing dumb things even there. But yeah, um, my uh, my boss went to CT too, and he was telling me about it today. But yeah, I mean, I this is uh, just my second week uh, walking without crutches, so it, it's probably better that I didn't push it anyways. But I do kind of miss cons. Don't we all? But I'm also not quite ready to go back. So it's kind of like a, a mixed bag. I'm trying some smaller shows this year, but that's it. Or this year. There's not even this year left. Next year, next year. I guess, yeah, I, I, I heard some stuff about it from other people, though, too. So I'm like, yeah, the people who are being dumb, like, boo on you. But for everyone actually doing what they were supposed to and trying to make it a happy, safe environment for everyone to be able to return and not have to worry about stuff, kudos. It's just been a whole new world. I also, like, most of my uh, income in a year comes from, like, you know, working shows and, like, selling my art at them. So it's definitely weird to not have that. Hence why I've been, like, oh, no, and, like, trying other things uh, to kind of get myself back to, like, I don't know, some kind of normalcy, make some new schedules. You got to change. Yep. Adapt, overcome. Some other inspirational words. I'm glad everyone had fun at that, though. Oh, no. I missed a spot there. Okay. the heck is going on? I have colored you a gazillion times. Stop it. Stop it. One of the things I miss the most actually about cons in general though is, uh, well, besides seeing my friends and stuff is I just miss like cosplaying and stuff. I just haven't had a lot of opportunity to do it. And then I got fat. Well, fat for me. Not trying to like be mean to other people, but for me, I, I gained a lot of weight during the pandemic. I weigh a lot more than I look like I weigh too. Uh, but it, um, while it's not always visible, um, my clothing and my costumes. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Oh, interesting. Uh, definitely find it, so. I gotta fix that really quick.
I know that's just such a minor thing, but it bothered me. Okay, yeah, we got everything packed. cool that there is at least some different but yeah I had a lot of it too is with uh, obviously certain cosplay are easier to do than others I mean I've been seeing pictures from it um I had a my uh my my uh friend that I call Twaifu aka Arex uh she was dressed as Zelda at C2E2 uh with the Zelda mask on she was Breath of the Wild Zelda so she has some pictures of like some links and stuff she saw but yeah for the most part I'm just seeing a lot of like of the standard stuff which is kind of sad but I also understand it because a lot of the people a lot of people just haven't had time or motivation to do stuff like that like I just want to I just want to make something I wanted to make a Christmas cosplay but I don't have the money to do it so I also even was eyeing um, buying a cosplay, but I'm like, do I really want to? I don't want to spend money. How dare you? How dare? Although I suppose uh, perhaps people don't get it if they haven't read the manga, so that might help. Um, I think the last cosplay I wore is when I did a, that photo shoot as Addy earlier this year. Um, yeah, so that was what spring. But yeah, I want to do a Christmas shoot, but I I don't like I don't have any Christmas stuff anymore. So I'm like I don't know. Yeah, uh, some of my cosplay don't fit me anymore because I gained too much weight, so. I'm working on it, but part of it hasn't helped with my health have taken such a bad turn for the worse earlier. Like in the last couple years, it's like just not. Nah, it's I couldn't do anything. I couldn't exercise regularly. I was trying to for a while and then, you know, nope. Nah, no way. But yeah, I'm getting that taken care of too. I just, the biggest thing is I need to sleep, fix my sleep. But that's why partially I thought it was breathing and partially pain. But we're working on both of those and I'm still not sleeping. Yeah, so we'll see. I'm so jealous of those people that can like, like Wong, who can just put their head on the pillow and they're asleep in like five minutes. Like, what the hell, man? How do you do that? What is your secret? I want to know. And I have high cat. I mean, I don't even look at my phone on purpose. Like I keep it. I mean, it's at my bedside table if I wanted to reach over. And I mean, I after talking with the doctor, so I have been being treated for insomnia for like the last five years at this point. And um, yeah, it's still not fixed. It's better, but it's not fixed. Um, I have trouble falling asleep. I have trouble staying asleep. And there's a cat trying to climb up on me. Hi, hi, Arata. Hi. Who is it? You you are going to force... Yep, you're going to force your way onto my lap. Hi. Hi, cat. You're getting fur all over my keyboard again. <laughs> hi, guys. Arata is here. You want to say anything, Arata? Yeah, there's a mic right there. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, yeah, my cat just can't resist my lap. That's some thighs, though. You gonna leave? Okay, yeah, because there's not room for you right now. The mic's in the way. <laughs> yeah, like, and so, like, we had talked about things like meditation, like, you know, uh, making sure not to do like anything else in the room but that isn't like sleep related so like you know uh when i lived at my parents house like my video games and stuff were up in my room so i played games in my bed like i don't do that anymore it's all separate stuff it's in different rooms but it's still just not enough and like all the different medication and stuff we tried um it just didn't work so yeah i've been going through like a lot of it for like the past five years um throughout the time though we were able to get it I used to get like two hours of broken sleep a night and I was starting to get to the point that I was really, really bad temperamentally, very uh, quick to anger and stuff, which, you know, is understandable. And that's kind of one of the reasons I went in and got help. It was like, I can't keep doing this. I'm like snapping everyone's head off and I know it's not right and they didn't do anything to deserve it. I just, I'm not sleeping. But yeah, so... Um, Uh, well, first off, I metabolize medication very fast. I found that out actually through uh, an ancestry thing, but it makes sense and explains why things like caffeine and stuff don't work very well on me. So yeah, caffeine doesn't work that great on me. Um, I, it has to be more of a psychological thing for me. I, I think it's the best way to do it. But yeah, I'm the kind of person who can have a soda and go to sleep right after. Well, could. Yeah, it took a while, but I mean, part of it was also the, you know, just the people around me. I could tell they were acting differently. And I was like, yeah, it's because I'm being an asshole. I need to stop this. But yeah, so, you know, we, we did some work. Uh, we tried a bunch of different medications. I tried some, bef uh, even before that, I tried some of those like over-the-counter things like melatonin and stuff. And oh my gosh, so melatonin does not work. And all it does is in the morning makes me feel so sick and groggy and I hate it. I've adjusted my pillows. I have a sleep mask now. Um, if I'm going to do anything before bed, it's a read, which usually helps calm me down. Um, my biggest problem, I think, is like, so like, uh, you know how some people like, I see, I don't, I don't actually know how people can do this, but like some people can just like turn their mind off. I don't know how. Like my mind is always going. It's always going. It's always, always doing something. I know part of that is my anxiety and part of it might be like ADHD undiagnosed, but uh According to a friend's therapist, I probably have it, which explains a lot of my multitasking. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I try to go to sleep on a normal time frame, but yeah, it doesn't always work. But yeah, so my mind is always constantly thinking of something. Uh, but so I found that reading at least uh, moves it from all over the place to just one thing, which helps a bit, I guess. Um, I also for a while was even on like a narcotic. It was insane because they were like, we can't get you to sleep. I did all those sleep studies too. I, I barely slept during the sleep study. It was pretty awful. Um, but yeah, they're like, okay, no, you don't have narcolepsy. You don't have uh, sleep apnea and you don't have any visual restless leg syndrome. You might have that, but we can't diagnose it because you didn't sleep well enough. The other ones, I guess they could. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, you're still not sleeping. We don't know. I hated that. It was actually very annoying. And I felt like crap afterwards too. The sleep study. Yeah, no, I didn't like that. Yeah, so we've been working on it for a while, me and my doctor, uh, my GP and stuff. And I've gone to specialists and stuff. But yeah, my GP actually also specializes in sleep. But yeah, I was on a narcotic for, for a while and some stuff. So basically, though, over the year, these five years that we've been working on it and trying to uh, fix my sleep, uh, I went from two hours of broken sleep to closer to four or five hours of broken sleep. So I still feel like garbage in the morning, but as you can tell, I'm able to keep, uh, not be so angry. Yeah, exactly. Like how? How did they know? Like, how could you guys tell? I barely slept. And that was back when I was on the sleeping pill still too. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm more functional. I still am forgetting things that I used to remember. Like I used to have the sharpest memory ever. I swear I could remember everything. Like to this day, I still remember the blood types of the characters from Orphan. I, that's never gonna help me, but I know it. But yeah, at least I'm not like trying to eat people's heads off. And I can function enough to do a lot of my hobbies and stuff. I just don't always feel the best. I think part of it is too, is just learning how to adapt around it too. And as somebody who has fibromyalgia and spends most of my time in pain, you get to the point that you're just like, eh, it's, it's a good day today. Your pain's at a level three. Kind of sad to say sometimes, but you know, it's like when you're less pain, it's a good thing. So you kind of just get to the point that you're like, I'm tired of dealing with this. this. You just learn to ignore it. So that's also kind of what happened. But yeah, I am getting a little more. So I still have some trouble remembering things uh, when I used to have a better memory. Um, I still will have issues where I'll just get like really grumpy or sick. Like I've had a lot of nausea. Well, I know part of it is the antibiotic I was on after my surgery. I'm off that now, thank God. That thing made me nauseous. I take it twice a day. So like, oh, twice a day. I was like, oh, I want to throw up. Although actually taking uh, eating afterwards did help. So it was weird. It made me want to throw up, but I, if I ate, I felt better. So it was a weird thing. I, and I, I took, I ate when I took it like I was supposed to, but it's, I don't know. It's weird. So like I do, I ended up starting to do things like I'd eat like half what I was going to eat. Yeah. Search, yeah. No, it was, it was super strong. They gave me a painkiller too, but I, I took it once and that was the only time I ever needed it. I was like, it didn't do anything actually. It didn't actually hurt afterwards. I got some bleeding, but we all expected that. I have a low clotting factor. Not like dangerously low, but low enough that um, sometimes it concerns doctors for surgical procedures. <laughs> Obviously I'm okay. In fact, I think I was streaming was I streaming the night after I had my operation? The night of it? <laughs> I mean, I do have a small stockpile of painkillers because they don't work on me. So every time they were like when I had my leg and stuff, it's like, yeah, no, I, I'm just whatever. They didn't work. So I just kind of went back to. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, uh, it's fine. It was a really minor operation, though. I They stuck balloons up my nose. <laughs> Basically. That's the easy way to describe it. Simply put, they're trying to figure out the causes of my breathing and allergies alone are not it. So apparently sinuses also are and uh, asthma, which yeah, I have three inhalers now guys. Um, I also told my, my boss this at work today and all of my inhalers are named Vlad the inhaler. Is Vlad one, two and three, the first, the second and the third. But yeah, when I told him it, their names was Vlad, he almost spit out his drink. Yeah, I have three different inhalers. Uh, one is my emergency inhaler. I don't have to take every day. I only take it when I really need it. But the other two I have to take daily. One is twice a day, one is once a day. And they're both two puffs each. Yeah, three of them. Okay, so to give you an idea of how many medications I have to take. <laughs> so I get up in the morning and I take, let's see. Three pills for that, one pill for that, one pill for that. Yeah, okay, so three pills for uh, helping manage like uh, my metabolism and hormones. Uh, one pill for allergies, at least, sometimes two, depending on how bad they are. Uh, one pill for my joints. Hi, Spanker. Uh, and then I have to take uh, two puffs of Vlad the second and two puffs of Vlad the, the third. And then I also have to take, uh, well, I take a multivitamin because it's good for me and they recommended it, but I also have to take, uh, D3 and B12 because I have D3 and B12 deficient anemia. I have both of those. Uh, in the evening, I have to take, uh, three more of my like hormone pills or whatever. I'm not like transition. It's it's hard to explain, but it helps me manage like uh, menstrual cycles. There you guys go. It's not birth control though. So, because I was getting really bad cramping and uh, I do have somebody who has that really bad case of it 
in my family. So yeah. And then uh, I take currently only one uh, for my asthma then. And then at night I have to take uh, two different medications for my fibromyalgia before bed. And I have to take two more puffs of uh, Vlad the second. Yeah, so I, I take a lot. Oats curry. Oh my god. God damn it, Wong. No, no oats curry. Yeah, yeah, but, sp but Spanker, look, this is the best part. Look at this. <laughs> this is my favorite part of this drawing. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, for a while I was taking even more medication. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm better now. I'm taking less. How am I alive is the real question. Oh, this is, this is, this is, I had a lot more orangey before. I just hear Wong screaming oats curry from downstairs. My God. And I was supposed to be like, oats got it. But bad English. If you guys ever played Monster Hunter Rise or watched a Monster Hunter Rise streams, he had a bunch of bad Japanese English. In his uh, things. No way. The amount of time we say that on a day to each other is pretty uh, pretty high, actually, Wong and I. So don't worry, guys. We take it with us. We all need to play Devour again sometime. Oh, caveman? What the heck? You guys, man. Um, no. My character doesn't have any fun phrases. But that's okay. She's cute. She's got a kids to name ask. Oh, why are you on? That's why it's so dark. As RTD mentioned the other day, Wong and I tend to hold things up to each other and go, hey, look at this. Speaking of, Wong saw hay for sale and wanted to buy hay just so he could do that. Oh, does he? I guess he does. Yeah, I was gonna say he definitely slurs it, so I can see that. Oh, caveman. I don't know, it sounds like you're romantically interested in this caveman. <laughs> and I know uh, Spinker likes to play the cowboy. Do you think they're gonna add new characters? That's what I wanna know. I want some more silly characters. Nice, great, I'm glad you had fun. Thanks for stopping, bye. Devoured Divs, if you're listening to this, we would love to do dumb voices as dumb characters in your games. We are happy to do it for free. I'm sorry guys, I just signed you up for it. They're not gonna watch this anyways. <laughs> the, the cowboy is strangely polite. Isn't he like an old Western actor or something is what it is? What do you think? His, like, because I'm going to assume they're going to do level for everyone being possessed. What do you think his level is going to be like? Are we going to be like an old Western town or something? Is that where we're going to run through? That would be fun, man. Trying to think would be good. Ah, oh, I would love to explore something like the Winchester house. My God, I want to go there so bad. Spanker, do you live close to the Winchester house? I 
I love that kind of thing. Uh, one of my favorite storylines in Ghost Hunt was the Bloody Labyrinth, which is a similar type deal. Ooh. Okay, Spanker, I'm gonna go visit your mother. <laughs> ah, okay. I haven't been, I haven't been out. I haven't been out to the west in a long time. I live near the uh, old Lake County uh, jail, the one that uh, Dillinger escaped out of. That's the coolest thing I've got. I'm pretty sure I could handle it. I'm sure she'd love me. Especially when I show her uh, some of the stuff. Uh, I could show her. I could draw some. I could draw some fan art of of uh, you and Wong for her and give it to her and see what she says. Right? I draw you a picture of your son. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a giant spike in an apron. That's what Spanker's mom looks like. <laughs> He can't stop me, he's all the way downstairs. Besides, he's the one who's about to get bonked and not me. <gasps> See, I already look like I could be your sister. I have no idea what you look like and this works. A blonde spike wearing an apron, got it. I feel sad because my hair looks so dark now, but I'm one of those blondes that my hair lightens over summer. Are you sure? Are, your sister's not an elf? It's because I'm not a spike, isn't it? That's speciest. Speciest? Definitely what it is. I understand. Speaking of completely random, uh, so when we were getting stuff out of my parents' basement, um, I when I did my Pira armor from Ruby, uh, I it, it's all leg armor. So the easiest way to do it was to literally make a mock-up of my legs. So I did the duct tape uh, body double, but just for my legs. So I just had a random like leg <laughs> downstairs and, with my stuff in our basement, and it it became kind of like a joke of everything we were doing with the packing uh, on Sunday when we were moving everything. Wong was having too much fun with it, and then at one point, uh, it hit my dad. <laughs> they were trying to take it upstairs in the trash, and it fell off the stuff they were carrying up. He did find my leg. He was playing with it. And then my dad got hit with it, and my mom was like, what's going on? And it's like, you know, just, just beating my father with my thigh, apparently. <laughs> it's just stuff with, it was just stuff with newspaper. But yeah, that, that's how I made my Pira leg armor. Because you try to make leg armor when your legs are attached to you. You can't, like, remove them. And it's supposed to be form-fitting and stuff. I'm not super good with leg armor anyways. But yeah, that, that's how I tried to do it. But yeah, it kind of became a joke thing. Because at first, Kirito was over helping us. And then later, my dad was helping us move stuff up. And it's just the leg became a joke. 
Because even my dad first saw it, he's like, why is there a lake down here? <laughs> like, dad, it's mine. Don't worry about it. It made a good bonk stick, though. But it wouldn't have made any noise. Yeah, except for it has no foot. It was just from the ankle to the uh, thigh, or to like a, yeah, like uh, almost up to the hip. But it's, that, I guess that is the edge of the thigh. I don't know. Also, uh, actually that Christmas story movie uh, is based off of a town near me, but I hate it. I hate that movie. Not because of the town. The town's fine. Uh, it's because when I my first job uh, was working at Suncoast. Well, uh, technically, I did the job at Suncoast and was a student teacher for the Japanese class at my college at the same time. So it's kind of a weird thing. They are both my first jobs. But, you know, when you're at Suncoast working during the holiday season, they play the same movies over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So when you're on a 10 hour shift and all you're seeing is the Christmas Carol over and over and over and over and over, you start to hate it. So that's why I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I hate it because I saw it way too many times. I was like, God damn it, I don't want to see it anymore. Stop it. So, yeah, that, that's that's my reasoning why I don't like it. I got, I just know, it just traumatized me. That was probably the only movie that we were paid repetitively that I actually cared to watch. Cause they also had like Ice Age and one of the prequel Star Wars movies played for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. I also worked at a grocery store for a while during Christmas. Luckily, I uh, threw my back out. That, that was when I, that was the first time I threw my back out. I was 21, my back went out. And I couldn't work there anymore and had to quit. But yeah, it was right around Christmas again. I was like, oh my God. I kind of missed the job at Suncoast just because I liked it. But that was also back when I could actually stand. Man, I missed those days. That makes it sound like I can't stand at all. I can stand, guys. What are you doing? What? Bigger labors, okay. Yeah, back then I had. Yeah, th that's how I, I was like, oh, I'm so young. Uh, never mind. But I've been in a, I've been under medical care for pain since I was in middle school. So. Where did we go? In the closet. Oh, right away you're back in the closet. Oh, Wong stole me. Help! Help! <laughs> He was just behind me. Yeah. I know, I feel like it. I wish I could. I already told people if they make uh, auto mail for real, I will cut my own legs off. I used to think my left leg was my good leg, but now it's the one that's been giving me issues. It is also the one with the tumor in the bone, so I guess it's not my good leg anymore. The other one just makes weird noises, but it seems to be doing okay. Sometimes I feel like one of those patients on like a Doctor House episode. <laughs> But if it was really a Dr. House episode, he would have figured out how to cure me, right?
In the one patient they can they can save, huh? Patient of the season. Hi, I'm just here in every episode because nobody can figure out what's wrong with it. Nah, it, it's all like autoimmune stuff, so a lot of it actually isn't curable. But it's not lupus, so I'm taking that as a pride. Take your little victories where you can get them. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm sorry, I don't have girly sneezes. I sound like, mm, like I'm screaming when I sneeze. <laughs> An armored core, cool. <gasps> what if I, what if I uh, become a Gundam? Can I do that instead? I guess that would leave it me open for a lot of jokes about Wong writing me though. Exactly. Well, he is an M man after all. Okay, I wanna. Uh, I'll finish the hair and stuff later. Um, yeah, lewd. But this is this is what I got done so far. Yeah. So this is a Christmas card that I will be uh, sending out to people who are doing Christmas card exchanges with me. Um, if you are interested in, because obviously I haven't sent them out yet. Uh, 1.5K, you're so close again. Uh, you can uh, just message me on, DM me on Discord about it for more information or whisper me here on Twitch and I'll, I'll talk to you about it. Yeah. But you have to send me one back in return. That's how it works. It's a trade. Digital cards, I guess, are okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, that's it all for now. And like I said, for um, from this point on, my art streams on Tuesdays won't be until 8 p.m. Central. Uh, kind of, they will be, like, this one just started a little late just because I'm me. But yeah, they'll be actually more on time in the future, too. So, so. We'll, we'll work around it. We're adapting, because with my uh, job having me till 5 on these days and then having so much stuff to get done, it's like, yeah, it's just stuff stuff and things and stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and go get some akiva soul stuff done now too and then uh yeah we'll, we'll go from there thank you everyone for coming i will hopefully be online sometime else this week playing some dumb game with friends so yeah thank you i asked to meet outside